Hi, I'm Andy Lindsay, Vice President of Sales for Wellcraft Boats. We're down here in sunny Sarasota, and uh, we've just finished our 2019 dealer meeting here, and we've shown these two brand new boats. They are the new 352Fs from Wellcraft. Loaded with features, all kinds of things for me to show you. Right now we're showing these two boats with triple applications on them. We're showing the boat on the left here with a Cryptek graphic, the offshore logo on the side, and then also on this boat, we've got the upper helm station for those that want to take on fishing in a serious way. Boarding the boat, getting on the 352F is easy. Walk through door, heavy fiberglass door, positive latch. On the back end of the boat, you have a nice walk through door, positive lock latch on it. Also here, you have transom wash down, so you can walk off, shower down on the boat. There's also a pull-out ladder, dive ladder, off the back end of the boat to get in the water. And as you can see, right now we have 1,200 horsepower strapped across the back of this boat. You have your rod holders all the way across the back. When you have passengers on board, you've got full seating across the back end. The nice thing about these seats is they fold up completely out of the way, down flat, so when you're fishing here, this other seat, a single seat, is great when you're out fishing, so you've got a spot to sit down when you want to, and it's out of the way from the whole rest of the boat, but it also folds away very quickly when you need it to. You've got your sink with a cover. You've also got a fish well is what, that drains right through. This boat, and I'll show you on the other 352, also comes with a cooler, ice cooler for the back end to cool this whole back area, keep it cold in the hot weather. In both corners, on both port and starboard, we have excellent drainage on these boats, so when water is on the boat or you're washing it down or just clean it up, we have overboard discharge right here. They're nice big big drain areas, double, double drains on both sides, so the boat will drain very quickly. A great thing to have. Both on starboard and port, you have two slam boxes, or some people call them kill boxes. You can load them with ice. They have macerator pumps on them so you can clean them up, wash them down, put a lot of big fish in this area. Nice hydraulic gas shock and positive latches that lock down. Moving to the midsection of this 352F Wellcraft, it has a great workstation. Nice cover on top, all fiberglass finish. Has a handle down here, just releases underneath. You have a nice flat surface to work off of. The other thing you can do is you can go with an optional barbecue on the boat and uh, so when you catch that fish you got something to cook it with. Another really nice feature on this boat is your actual bait well. Easy to access and it's also got this aquarium style look to it. And then on top of that this also lights up so at night you can see your bait fish and easy to grab onto one and pull it out. Another great feature to have on this workstation is the isotherm drawer fridge. Nice and deep, put all your stuff in, easy to access when you're back here. Slam shut, nice clean look. You also have a nice area for some of your tools, knives or whatever, cutouts for those. You also have a wash down area so you can work at this station here. Another great little detail on the boat, you have all your tackle boxes in here. A couple drawers, put things in, easy to access. Then you also have your bait boxes. On the 352F Wellcraft, you have a choice on T-tops. These are rugged T-tops, very stable, very strong, that you can either go powder coat white or powder coat black. These boats having a T-top, there's all kinds of features you can go with on these boats. We have the FLIR night vision on this boat. You can go full electronics, radar, GPS, everything on this boat. We're also now using Rigid as one of our suppliers and we're lots of lighting features on these boats so you can light the front of the boat up or the water up. Moving into the cockpit area of the boat, great features here. You have three seats across. They all have flip-up bolsters, drop-down armrests, and then for the captain on the boat, what's available here is also the flip-up bolster so you make more room. Also, when you want to drop down, it's a drop-down, gives you a whole total amount of room at the helm, standing up. At the helm of the 352 Wellcraft, awesome helm station on this boat. 
Nice area to throw your stuff up in front here. You've got four cup holders across. On the upper level, you have a nice storage box up here to put some things. You also have your Mercury vessel view here, so you can look at your, watch what your engines are doing. Down below, you've got two optional full 22 inch Garmin screens. So this is multifunctional. It will do everything you need for pleasure, fishing, or just navigating anywhere in the world. The dash itself is a billeted metal. Very nice look. Wellcraft logo inside. All stainless steel toggle switches. They all light up. Very nice feature to have. Down just behind it on this boat, we have the uh, joystick. So this boat here, handling at the dock, triple engines on it, 35 foot boat, handles awesome, makes you look like a captain every time when you park. Another cool little feature that we've added to this boat is a cell, cell phone holder. On a spring loaded, any size phone fits, great place to have it, easy to access. Your key switches are all over here. Again, we're with triples, so there's three of them. Your binnacle mount, the ergos of this are very nice. Everything else is in the right spot, nothing in the way. This 352, as, again, as I said, is equipped with the Cryptek offshore package on the boat. Has a really distinctive look to it, nice design. Also, the helm station mat also shows the offshore package with this Cryptek design. Very cool look to the boat. On the 352 Wellcraft, rod storage is a must, obviously. So we've got three areas on this boat rod storage on both starboard and port. It's at the front of the boat in the bow area and then we have one area in the back of the boat on the starboard side for your rod storage. As you walk forward in the boat going to the bow of the boat, the walkway's through. Nice and wide, easy to get through and access quickly. Another nice feature that I like is the shore power cord. It hooks up right here so it's easy to access. It's not on the outside of the boat and it's right there. Great feature. We use a Taylor windshield, all tempered glass. Very nice heavy duty design, fully billeted aluminum on each side. As we move forward in the boat, now the boat becomes luxury for those people that want to have that dual, dual application boat, both for fishing and for luxury. Really nice lounge area here at the front, has armrests on both sides. Nice features, the upholstery in a, in a diamond style look. As the storage under here, it can be both wet storage or for your gear like this, but it also drains out on the side. Plus a nice feature of this, it also has the gas shocks. Another thing that's a must on these boats when you have this nice bow area is the backrest. But they're easily removable and easy to put on. And once they're in place, they're very steady. They grab your back in the right places. The upholstery is plush on the sidewalls. You also have grab handles down inside, low profile, so they don't show up from the exterior of the boat, but it's nice to have these, especially on a boat of this size. The other thing we offer is the Orca cooler. It's kind of cooler that you can leave a bag of ice in there for at least two days. The nice thing about it is it's fully level with all the side cushions. And another great feature about these cushions, so if you are fishing all day and you don't need them, they're totally removable. And then they're also, you have a ton of storage down underneath for your gear, fully finished off. I want to talk about the drainage systems on these boats. So we've got a management drainage system on all of the areas where you, when you open these doors, they're all raised lips. So water doesn't just run straight in, it gets peeled off to the outside of the edge of the fiberglass. Also for this area, you also have an optional table mount here at the front, down below. Nice feature to have is we've got two five gallon pail buckets down below with storage in this area. So for cleanup or whenever you need something, again, you can see the drainage areas on this and the big drains in the side so it's not going down in those areas. If I move all the way forward to the anchor locker, the nice thing about this boat, the profile, this boat has windless. It's a clean look on the front of the boat. Easy to access this lid, opens up here, easy to wash down, you've got tie off, your right here you've got your anchor down there and it's out of the way another great feature on this 352 wellcraft is going down below it's a full area with lots of space easy to access full stand up as you walk down you can lock they have three lock offs on the on the door itself you can go down into the steps down below 
Now that we're in the midsection of the boat, I do call it the midsection, it has a lot of room down here in the cabin. You can see here, you've got your sink, all Corian tops. You have your uh, China head on board. And also when you look forward, you have a nice storage area there or a nice day bed. There's a fill-in lounger that goes in the middle, so you've got room for a day bed. This boat can be optioned out with Seakeeper, which is a great feature to have on a 35-foot boat. It takes all the waves out of the water and makes this boat handle incredible. On the 352, the electrical panel. Very important part of the boat and a nice layout. Fully exposed so you can turn your switches here and then also all the breaker switches down below. Easy to access, easy to see, and that brings up another part of this boat. You can also put the gen set on board and then have an air conditioning set on board so that you can keep this area cool. We have these cooling vents also part of the air conditioning system. So when you're at the helm of the boat, you have two nice vents on each side so that you can have nice cool air from the air conditioning unit blowing on you. Another must have on the 352 is the Fusion JL audio system. Great sound, a great feature to have on this boat whether you're fishing or recreation. Now that I've shown you the 352 Wellcraft with the offshore package, we're gonna move on over to the other boat now and show you this boat with the upper helm station. Now that we're showing the 352 I just with the upper helm station, I'd just like to point out a couple more features on these boats. We have the seaside interior, as you can see here, and the seat design as well. Again, the seat folds back up out of the way. We have the reed mat available in two options. One thing about the 352 Wellcraft's the upholstery is plush, has a great look, lots of detail in it. In this seaside, it has a great finish. Again, flip up bolsters, armrests, the drop down as well, like I showed you before. Going back to the recreation side of this boat, especially in the bow area, now you have fill-ins on the boat available to you, so you can make a whole platform area, nice for sunbathing and for just lounging on the boat. Also keeping in step with multi-functions of the front area of this boat, we've taken the fill-in cushion out, Supported by this table, now we've put the table legs on and you have a nice table, you seat five people around this table, great for lounging on the boat. Another great feature while you're sitting in the bow of this boat, you've got your lounge area, you've got your table set up for four or five people. You also have a nice, very nice sunshade, especially great in the southern areas, just to keep that sun off you a bit. Now on this 352, we're gonna to move to the op optional upper helm station. On the 352, once you go with the upper helm station, you can see the marine mat here in this design, different from the Cryptek. We put this marine mat up here so it's safe to access going up to the top of the boat. One of the nice things is trying to get up on here, you have a step on the side that folds down to get yourself up and access the top level. Getting up to the upper helm station is easy to access. Just grab on. Nice steps going all the way up. You got grab handles on the top, step your way up. So for you guys that are serious about your fishing and want to have lots of vision up on top, this is the upper helm station to have. Even though you have all your instrumentation down below, you can also go with an optional garment up here. You've got your joystick control up here as well. Cup holders, compass, all your vessel view, your fusion, speaker sound system. And also you can go with an optional BHF radio on top. This boat also has tilt steering at both helm stations, so it's a nice feature to have, depending on how you're going to operate the boat. This upper station is done with the white powder coated stanchion on top. Also, it has a canvas canopy cover on top as well, keep you in the shade a little bit, protect you from the sun. Also on the top, we have the marine mat as well. Nice, nice idea to have, grips your feet, feels nice and stable. Now that I've shown you some of the features on the 352 Fish, and it's great that I have two of them to show you with different variations on them, there's all kinds of other variables you can go with. We've got different colors for these boats. You have your option on horsepower, anywhere from 700 horsepower up to 1,275 exhilarating horsepower. Dealers are looking forward to putting these out and showing them to you. You need to come down and see them. And I'll tell you what, once you get out in these boats and operate them in the heavy water, you'll see why it's a well craft. Thank you.